Okay, so we're at the Birmingham NEC Centre and we've got the new F-Line 33. So we're going to jump on board and I'm going to give you a full tour. But before I do that, if you're enjoying this channel, then please press that subscribe button. I like you on getting told off. So let's go and jump on and have a look. Okay, so this is Fairline's smallest boat and it's the F-Line 33. And in this guise, it's the fully convertible version. So as you can see, you've got no roof. But there's another version where you can have a T-top. And I'll try and show you a picture on the screen while I'm talking of the T-top version, which has got a different cockpit layout with the seating wrapped around here. So two versions, open and T-top. This is the open version. And I'm gonna give you a full walk round. So a few things you need to know. The first thing is it's available with twin Volvo 430 horsepower petrols, which are V8s and sound fantastic. Or you can have it with twin 400 Mercury Verado outboards, which are unbelievable too. I think I would lean towards the inboard petrols because I just think it keeps the lines of the boat looking really, really good. So as you can see, you've got a lovely cockpit, nice table, and we're gonna look at some of the details. Um, the teak table, the hinges, everything is top quality, as you'd expect from a fair line. These seats all spin around, you can play around with these, look. So you can point this way. Oh, Dan, have you seen my socks? Oh, they're um, burger and chips. Now, you can't beat those, can you, son? <laughs> okay, so this, I can't show you because we're at the Birmingham show, but this transom here folds down, and then uh, when you're at sea, you just fold this back up, and it makes it into a, a safer place to be when you're boating along. So let's go and look at the dashboard. Okay, so here's the dashboard, but before I show you that, I just want to show you the barbecue area which is all in this lovely gel coat. Now, quite a lot of manufacturers paint these finishes. Can you see that's like a light gray and that's like a dark gray? But actually, Fairline used gel coat. So if I scratch this, I can easily repair it. And that's a really big plus. That's one of the things I love about Fairline. So we've got a nice little sink there. And we've got a barbecue here. Now, I've never seen this on a boat before, but look at this. It's got like little easy jet um, aeroplane kind of storage. So we've got the Fairline plates then. Yeah, I won't show you the back of that, but they're made in England. I actually really like those, they're nice, aren't they? And then you've got the next cupboard, which has got the, I think it's got the ice maker. Yeah, ice maker. Don't like those, a waste of time. And then in the last one, we've got the fridge, which is really nice, but, it hits, don't you see that? It hits the back of that. Maybe that seat moves. Maybe that seat moves. Oh, I can't do that. But anyway, that probably needs looking at, but nothing major. The dashboard is beautiful, as you'd expect on a Fairline. So this is an outdrive powered boat, but you can have joysticks for outdrives. And I'm not a great fan of them because outdrives have a cone clutch and when you put it in gear, the cone spins out and grips. So when you're using the joystick on an outdrive, it clunks quite a lot, whereas the IPS is smoother. But um, if you've got a bow thruster, which this one has, you shouldn't need to use that anyway because you can steer it on the engines and the bow thruster. So we've got music. We've got a really funky steering wheel. Look at that. So we see if the horn works. That is not a good horn, is it? <laughs> That's a Ford Fiesta horn. I would change that. Let's do that again. <laughs> um, that's put me off a bit. Um, anyway, steering wheel is really nice. We've got the um, um, trim tabs here. Bow thruster, you see the bow thruster down? Bow thruster here, VHF, touchscreen plotter, compass up there, lovely dark dashboard so you don't get any glare. And I've got a great view out, can you see? And there's the bow cushions. And 
Um, you've got these lovely little doors, Dan. Thank you very much for pointing that out. Now these are beautiful. You press this button here, and then look at this. Look, this is. Oh, look at the engineering on this, Dan. Look, look at the stainless. That is really nice. I'm not going to do it because I don't want to fall on the floor, but you can see you've got a really nicely engineered side door. And guess what? They haven't scrimped. They've done another one here. There. So that gets the thumbs up from me. Also, Dan, look at the stainless vents here that's a nice detail isn't it so let's go down below okay so if you come down here Dan and I will show you the interior of this lovely boat and actually it's quite big look look how much room I've got here this converts down into a bed got a little sun hatch there we've got a little galley there a little toilet here you see in there? Uh, it fails the floss test, Dan. Um, let me just put this out of the way. Keep, keep off the beds. Um, yeah, the toilet, as you expect, this boat's only 33 foot, so look, I can't do the floss test. I'm not even gonna bother trying to do it, but it's fine for a 33 foot boat, and it's love beautifully made. Don't you like this, um, look at this kind of gray tap? I like that a lot. That is nice, isn't it? This little towel, look. A nice towel. So this boat is £543,000 ink vat with the options. If you want the T-top one, it's a bit more. But what this boat has over some of the competitors, like the R35, is we have an aft bedroom. So let's go and take it, check it out. I think it would be fair to say that if you're at all claustrophobic, then I would not sleep in the back of this boat. Because, what are you looking at, mate? The sign. It says keep off this bed. Yeah, but, okay. Well, I'll be off it in a minute. But look, I bend my knees, and they're nearly touching the ceiling. If I go on my side, actually, I'm all right. I can... It wouldn't bother me, but if you're claustrophobic, go and sleep in the bow. But actually, it's a really, really nice space. Okay, we've got no headroom. We've got no standing room, really. There's a little gap up here, Dan. Look, I don't know what that's. Your escape hatch. No, there's a little air vent there. And we've got a little wardrobe. See the wardrobe there? And we've got some little cuddy holes. But we've got to remember, this boat is only 33 foot. So I think... When you put it in perspective, 33 foot and two cabins, sleeps four people. I think it's pretty good, to be honest. Okay, so let's look at the engines, and I press this little button down here. As you can see, we've left some leaves in for you. Right, let me get down here, Dan. Oh! Ooh. Okay, so we have got twin Volvo V8s. And do you know what I love about these Volvo V8s? And they still do it. They paint them red. Can you see? They've got red blocks. Okay, they've got some black bits on top, but got red engines. Now, I know you're going to ask, how much fuel does it use? It uses loads. Okay? That's all you need to know. If you're wanting to know how much fuel this uses, don't buy it. Because when you give it the beans, and this boat's doing 45, 50 knots, it's going to be drinking so much fuel it'll make your eyes water. But do you know what? You will have what you're looking for. <laughs> it's true, isn't it? Um, it? You will have so much fun that you won't care about... I tell you what, it even smells of petrol. Can you smell it? It's even, we haven't even started it up and it smells of petrol. That's how much petrol it uses. It uses petrol when it's not even started. That's how much petrol it uses. <laughs> anyway... As you'd expect from Fairline, it's a beautiful install. Can you see, Dan? We've got um, the transom shields down there. We've got all the wiring. We've got water pumps. We've got auto electric um, uh, fire extinguishers. 
These are obviously uh, multi-point fuel injection. These are the manifolds where um, the seawater mixes, well not mixes, but it has the, the fresh water circuit and the seawater circuit to cool the engines. We've got some lovely batteries down there and a clear door. It's all ace. Okay, so in summary, we've got 33 feet. We've got twin outdrive. We've got twin petrol inboards or twin outboards. We've got two cabins, four berths, 540,000 pounds, including UK VAT, including options. And we've got a T-top version available with a different layout. So this is Fairline's first boat in the range. And if you want a brand new boat that goes quickly, looks fantastic, looks good, doesn't it? Look, it looks good. And you've got four of you and your family. I think this is a fantastic, great new boat. And you know what? It's handmade in England and it's got Fairline legendary build quality. And I think that's a small price to pay for something as beautiful as this. Okay, so let's look at the engines and I press this little button down here. Dan, are we smashing anything up? What about that seat? That's all good, yeah? Ooh, look at these. Oh, you're right about to see. What have we done about to see? Have you broken okay. it? The backrest. Don't let Richard see. No, quick. quick. 